What's up guys? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome to Whatever Wednesday. Today, in honor of January being all about New Year, New Me, Best Me Ever, <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to give you some wellness tips. We realized quickly that we're not the people to do that. <laughs> oh, no. we are not well <laughs> unqualified. So we look to the professionals. Thankfully, we know someone who can provide yes. very helpful tips for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we teamed up with Jocelyn Floor, who is an Instagrammer and photographer and like small an business yeah. owner, entrepreneur type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She does like wellness and like well-being workshops around Toronto. Mm -hmm. And we thought she would be the best choice to give you some wellness tips. Yeah. We've collaborated with her on this video. So without further ado, here's Jocelyn to give you all the tips you need to be your best self this year. We'll be taking notes. We will. <laughs> we'll be watching this video on repeat. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn and I am a wellness blogger in Toronto and I am also the founder of Wellbeings, which is a community workshop pop-up. Um, so today I'm going to share with you guys five tips or five ways that you can practice self-care in 2019 that aren't a face mask. first tip would be to check your finances. So it's January and we're kind of getting back into the swing of things. We're recovering from the holidays. A lot of us maybe have overspent a little bit buying gifts for other people, maybe for ourselves. Um, so a good tip just for 2019 in general is to plan ahead create a budget um, because going back to the holidays, they're not a surprise, birthdays aren't a surprise either. So instead of creating this unnecessary stress for yourself, why not just plan ahead? So the second tip would be to pick up a new hobby. So there are so many different benefits that come with learning a new skill or just doing something outside of your nine to five. It's more than just adding something exciting to your life. Um, picking up a new skill can also help us to learn new things about ourselves. So for a lot of us uh, working in a regular nine to five job or a part time job, whatever that is, our lives tend to be a little bit more monotone and sometimes just adding a little bit more excitement to our lives can make us feel overall happier and just learning a new skill kind of keeps our minds sharp. It gives us an opportunity to learn a little bit more about ourselves, put ourselves out of our comfort zone, maybe new, meet new people and also just add a little bit more joy into our lives. So the third tip would be to hit unsubscribe and hit unfollow. Now I'm not saying to unsubscribe to this channel, but um, I think with social media these days we're in a constant mode of consumption. Sometimes without even knowing it, we're looking at stuff that makes us feel terrible about ourselves. So why not just protect your energy for 2019, unfollow the accounts that make you feel bad about yourself, unsubscribe from the email newsletters that you never read, and just clear out your life leave no room for all of that excess stuff. Just focus on you. So the fourth tip would be to declutter and downsize. So for a lot of us, excess clutter can tend to affect our headspace in a negative way. It can affect our productivity, our mood. Um, so you, you don't have to do an overhaul of your entire life because that's just not realistic for a lot of people. What you can do is start with maybe one room. And what I like to suggest is start with your bedroom because that should be a really relaxing environment for you. So even if you don't wanna do the whole room, you can start with like your bedside table, your drawer, your closet, make your bed maybe. <laughs> So the fifth and final tip is to sit up straight. There's this little thing that I like to call and it's called the millennial shoulder. So we're kind of like hunched over our phones, hunched over our computers if we work in an office job. Um, so there's so many different reasons why you should sit up straight. First of all, it can cause you unnecessary pain. For me personally, it causes me headaches. And when you sit up straight or if you stand up straight, it just gives you a little bit more of a boost of confidence. Other people look at you differently and even if you don't feel confident, it'll make you seem that way and then eventually you will feel that way. So 
So those are my five self-care tips for 2019, and I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, if you want to see more from me, you can follow my wellness page. It's at wellbeings with three L's because wellbeings was taken. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of workshops in Toronto. They're all free, low cost, or by donation. So yeah. Welcome back. Do you feel well? <laughs> Do you feel well? <laughs> Uh, we thought that, like, those are amazing tips, right? Yes. It was actually, like, when she started going through the tips and, like, we were filming off to the side, as she said to, like, that inbox zero, I was literally going through my inbox and then subscribing to things. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I should do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Definitely. Yeah. I like that she kept them simple and very actionable. Yeah. So They're... that you don't get overwhelmed. Exactly. And it's, like... It's five really simple things. You can make the change like tomorrow. You don't need this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And it like, it's all stuff that like, it's not too out there. Like people, when you hear it, you're like, you know what? That makes sense. And you like, when you make that connection, you'll want to do it. Yeah. Cause I've kind of been in this mindset this year that I don't want to try to make all these like huge outrageous goals that aren't really attainable. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out the, the little things I can do that are going to make a big impact in the end. Yes. And I think... Her tips are the best place to start. Yes. And if you want more of these awesome tips or are from Toronto and are like want to do one of her workshops one day, she does some awesome workshops. She's done ones about... She did a plant one. Yeah. And then she's done a matcha one before okay. in Vancouver. Yes. And then she has a matcha one coming up in Toronto. Yeah, sometime. But yeah, so if you want to stay up to date with her, her Instagram handle is at wellbeings.community. We'll put that mm -hmm. here. And also, if you just want to follow her general account on Instagram, it's at Jocelyn Floor. And we'll put that there too. <laughs> she does, she's an awesome person. She has awesome photography, awesome tips. She's just a good person to keep on your social feed. Yeah, we had a lot of fun working with her on this video, and we look forward to working with her on more stuff in the future. Yeah. And if there's anyone else you want to see us collaborate with, or we want to see us more do more videos like this, yes. let us know in the comments below. We absolutely love working with other people in our community, and like t learning from other people, and meeting new people. So we would love to know the people that you think would fit well with us, and you think could add some stuff to our channel for you. Yeah. yeah. All right, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future Whatever Wednesday videos and our vegan recipes every Sunday. Yeah, and stay tuned for another Whatever Wednesday video with a special guest all about organizing. Yeah. Organizing is important. You can't tell right now, but this place is a <laughs> hot mess. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, you probably know because you know us. You know too much. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> we also had like an epiphany. Yeah, it's like, you know, like I compared this with them. You know how high people, when they're high, they start like thinking of all these great ideas? We did that. Like when we're on a maple syrup high, we think of, well, this is what we thought of today. We're changing our name. Yeah. Just so everyone knows, we're changing our name to Two Maple Girls. We're idiots. <laughs> we should have so done that stupid. from the beginning.